Good morning. So today we are leaving near the Kofa National Wildlife Reserve where we've been parked and we're going to head into town. Today we are going to be stocking up on groceries, we're going to be refilling the water tank, dumping our trash and all of that. So I'll show you uh, how I go about that. And uh, yeah, let's just do running some errands today. Day in the life, running errands in a bus so I can park for a couple weeks off grid. Alright, let's go. Little over 30 gallons in there right now. But we're gonna go ahead and try to fill it all the way up. Um, yeah, I uh, went a little extra as per usual with my hose. That's a 100 foot hose. Uh, one of the bad things is when you are filling up your fresh water, um, it's literally, if you look over here, that, that line of vehicles, normally there's a really long line, but these few vehicles you see over here, um, they're in line for the dumping their black water. So that's a bad thing. When you're getting your fresh water filled, you sort of get a whiff of the uh, disgusting black water. So there is that, but uh, you know, try to ignore it. Uh, right after this, we're going to go dump our trash. Uh, it's actually just like right over there. That's what I do like. I was like, you just fill this up, stop right there, dump the trash, and then we're out and we're on our way to town. So uh, we're just going to wait a little bit for this water to fill up. And then we're going to do the rest of it. <sighs> All right, I got to unwind this. I have everything on the side. I just went in and uh, got a few things at like the Dollar General store or whatever. And uh, look at this. Cute. Um, while I was parked here, I decided to go ahead and call AAA bus because if it's the tires or whatever it is, I want this, the issue with me not being able to get up to at least 55 solved. Um, so I called them and I told them what was going on. You could tell he was distracted a lot too. So, um, but just from this little bit of a phone call, literally like a few minutes, he says he doesn't think it's the tires. Um, but he was also having a hard time hearing me, so I don't know if he heard everything either. So we don't know. But I said, can we just schedule an appointment to like look at it and try to figure out what's going on regardless of what the issue is. I just don't want to drive it a lot without having it looked at and seeing why I can't get up to 55 miles an hour. 
So he said, that's fine. We scheduled an appointment. It's going to be for uh, a week and a couple days from now. So looks like I'm still going to be in Arizona for at least a couple more weeks. And uh, hopefully they can resolve this issue. I'm going to just stay around the general area. I don't want to drive a whole lot, you know, without having this fixed. Obviously. I don't want to mess something up. Anyway, just letting you know what's going on with that. I don't think I feel like doing laundry today, honestly. So, I'm probably just going to try to figure out where we're going to park for the night. I don't know. I'll let you know here in a minute. <laughs> well, we found a parking spot, and I am pretty happy with it. I don't know if you can see here. Um, I got some footage for you, too. I'll put it here <clears throat> while I'm talking, but this is the Colorado River right here. Uh, we are currently in a, uh, a vacant dirt lot on iOverlander. It was actually trying to get us to park down there. You can see the boat ramps and everything is in that dirt lot. But uh, of course the maps uh, took us a different way uh, behind like a Walmart and stuff and then back in, in this way. Um, and you can tell other people have been parking up here too. Uh, this is one of those happy accidents, you know? Like, we were supposed to be down there, which also would have been good. But it's pretty cool having our own little area up higher. And it's, it's a great view, you know? I wish I had a freaking boat or a kayak or something, though, to get out on the water. I'm gonna make some bagel but pizza bites and, uh... Take the girls on a walk and then I guess we'll call it for this video. That's my day in the life of. <laughs> it's a nice ending right now. Appreciate every single one of you. Uh, thank you to my patrons especially. Um, you all have really helped me make it to this point where I can finally start traveling full time now. All my clients, all the new friends I've made and the people following and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I love you all. Take care, and I'm going to see you next week with a new video. Mwah. Look how freaking pretty this is. And why? This is a freaking spray paint. Why? Oh, people. I swear.